Krishna, a beautiful name of our Lord, has been used 12 times in Bhagavad Gita. We've already seen the nine different situations in which Arjuna addresses our Lord as Krishna. These three uh, slokas which we'll be seeing now are Sanjaya using the name Krishna. Arjuna used it in a very dis a different context and we know that Sanjaya is an intellectual. He uses the name very appropriately in the right context. So when did Sanjaya use it? It will be very interesting to know that till the 11th chapter, Sanjaya has never used this very natural name of our Lord. Only in the 11th chapter, the 35th sloka, Sanjaya uses the name Krishna for the first time. He again repeats this name two times in the 18th chapter, first in the 75th sloka and again in the 78th sloka. Now, why did he use it in the 11th chapter? So what happened in the 11th chapter? We've already seen some slokas of the 11th chapter. 11th chapter stands for the Vishwarupa Darshanam of our Lord. Now the Lord shows his cosmic form to Arjuna. And after that, Arjuna asks him like, Oh my God, who actually are you? Because Arjuna is not able to understand what he's seeing in front of his own eyes. So Lord Krishna says, I am the mighty time. And he tells Arjuna that, you know what, whether you want to fight this war or not, I have decided the consequence of this war. I have decided who all have to survive after the war. So it is good for you to actually wage the war and, you know, gain all the popularity, gain all the glory because of fighting a dharmic war. And he also tells Arjuna, Nimitta Karanam Bhava. He says, be a instrumental cause. You don't have to actually be doing this. You can just be a um, instrument in my hand and fight this war. And he addresses Arjuna as Savya Sajan. Savya Sajan means one who can actually fight with both his hands. Arjuna could use both his hands to actually shoot the arrow. So that was a speciality in him. Therefore, he was called as Savya Sajan. Now, uh, Lord Krishna says, you might be Savya Sajan, but Nimitta Karanam. Just be an instrumental cause because I have decided what's going to happen. So at this point of time, Sanjaya actually explains all this to Dhritarashtra using the sloka which comes in the 11th chapter, 35th sloka. Sanjaya Vacha Etat Shrutva Vachanam Keshavasya Krita Anjalir Vepamana Kiriti Namaskritva Bhuya Yevaha Krishnam Sadadgatam bhita bhita pranamyam. Sanjaya says, Arjuna heard these words of Krishna. He was actually trembling after seeing the Vishwarupa Darshanam. And he was having his hands folded. His voice was choked because of his fear. He was prostrating over and over and over again. And he started speaking again. Because Arjuna has already spoken earlier, he started speaking again. The next 10 slokas, Arjuna will be describing the Vishwarupa Darshana that he is seeing, the cosmic form of the Lord. So, this is what um, Sanjaya explains. So, in this context, it will be interesting for us to note that Sanjaya uses the word Keshava initially and then in the second line, he uses Krishna. Having heard these words of Keshava, Arjuna tells these things to Krishna. So, why should he use two names in the same sloka? As I told you, Sanjaya uses the appropriate words in the appropriate situations. So, there is a reason because the meanings of the two names of Lord Krishna are different. We will discuss more about Keshava when we dwell on that. Now, why did he use the word Krishna here? Because Sanjaya also saw the cosmic form of our Lord. After seeing the cosmic form, he realizes that, hey, this God, our Lord Krishna, creates the entire universe because he could see the different parts of the universe inside the very cosmic form of Lord Krishna. So he says that, hey, I can see the different parts of the universe inside you. So creating this cosmos is just a sport for you. You are happy by your sport of creation. We should remember that this is one of the meanings of Krishna that we learnt earlier. Krishir Bhuvachaka Shabdaha 
nascha nirvrati vachakah therefore krishi denotes the bhumi naha means happiness the bliss eternal happiness krishna would mean the lord whose sport is the creation of the world or the cosmos because of which he is in eternal bliss sanjaya uses the name krishna to address the lord here therefore he says that arjuna now starts speaking to that lord who has the sport of creation as a source of his happiness so he appropriately uses the word krishna now the other two slokas where um, sanjaya uses the name krishna appears in the very last chapter the 18th chapter the 75th and the 78th sloka vyas prasadat shrutavan etad guhya maham param yogam yogeshwarat krishna sakshat kathayat tasvayam yatra yogeshwar krishno yatra partho dhanurdharah tatra shri vijayor bhutir dhruvanitir matir mama sanjaya is very excited after seeing the vishwarupa darshanam and after hearing the entire bhagavad gita so this is towards the end of gita after arjuna and krishna have completed their talks now sanjaya says all this is because of vyasa prasadat it is because of the blessing of my acharya who is vyasa so he shows his kritagnyata he shows his gratitude to veda vyasa so vyasa prasadat shrutavan i could hear this only because of the grace of my acharya vyasa etad guhya tamam he says that what i have heard is something which can't be easily seen which can't be easily understood which can't be easily heard because this is guhya tamam which means that people can't understand the depth of this so easily we told when we explained about krishna's darkness right it's because krishna is mysterious so also bhagavad gita which is given by lord krishna can't be understood easily it is really deep for people to understand but sanjaya here says that he could understand this because he was blessed by his acharya who is vyasa only because of vyasa's blessings sanjaya got this divya chakshus a divine eyesight divine uh, eye because of which he could see what is happening in the kurukshetra war right in the palace of dildrashtra therefore he says that all this is because of him because of his grace now veda vyasa also has another name called krishna dvaipayana krishna because veda vyasa was also dark complexioned and dvaipayana because he was born in an island so krishna dvaipayana is another name of veda vyasa so here sanjaya says vyasa prasadat shrutavan sakshat krishna so uh, krishna the actual krishna kathayata swayam the actual krishna is explaining all this to me i heard all this because of vyasa prasadat so uh, he very clearly explains that there is no ambiguity that i could hear the actual geeta from the source which is lord krishna himself and he says that this is guhyatamam this is a mysterious information and he also explains that yogam yogeshwarat krishna yogeshwarat krishna the uh, leader of all the yogas the lord of all the yogas who has explained the karma yoga jnana yoga bhakti yoga everything has explained this and i had the pleasure of hearing it first hand so all this is about his gratitude towards his guru and his happiness of having heard such a great thing now here the usage of krishna is because krishami prithvim parta bhutva kashna reso halaha lord krishna in mahabharata has told arjuna right i will actually be plowing the earth by becoming an iron plow myself therefore here sanjaya says yes krishna has actually taught all these things to arjuna thereby preparing arjuna as if arjuna is a land he is preparing arjuna for the greater truths by giving this entire geeta by giving all the yogas he is yogeshwara therefore sanjaya says the same thing happened to me because i have heard the geeta 
the yogeshwara krishna directly has told all these things to me so therefore i am very clear now all this is because of the guru kataksham therefore he is using the name of krishna in the context of krishna plowing the land thereby plowing him he is removing all the unwanted things from sanjaya and replacing it with all the things that are required for the understanding of higher reality now the final time when sanjaya has used the name krishna is in the final sloka of bhagavad gita and we should remember that using this three times means he is emphasizing on the usage of the name krishna and usually we say like okay what is your final thought on this and the final word always is remembered by everybody so sanjaya gives us his final verdict and he tells dhritarashtra in no uncertain terms because earlier he was telling dhritarashtra you see don't you understand dhritarashtra the pandava side will actually win you know he was giving a lot of subtle messages here he explicitly tells dhritarashtra yatra yogeshwara ha krishna krishna who is a yogeshwara yatra parto danudara and here is parta parta is another name for arjuna because kunti had another name called prita being prita's son arjuna is addressed as parta so danudara ha parta so where there is arjuna who has his danu who has his gandiba on his hand the victory is going to be there uh, he qualifies it with four different adjectives here he says tatra shrihi means fortune mahalakshmi is goddess of fortune tatra tatra shrihi vijayaha means victory bhutihi means glory dhruva neetil this is the eternal wisdom or sanatana dharma this is my conviction says sanjaya so it is a lesson for all of us the lesson here is arjuna has to take his efforts he has to have the gandiba on his hand he has to wage the war and he will then be supported by krishna krishna will give the right advice right uh, guide him in the right direction so here it is equated to us when we take our efforts when the humans take all their efforts god will help them and they will get all what is required in life which is the shrihi vijayah bhutihi dhruvanitihi we will get all the fortunes that required for us to lead a healthy life both in this world and in the eternal world therefore the final thought of sanjaya here is remember the name krishna yogeshwara krishna so the very last name used in the entire bhagavad gita is krishna so sanjaya wants all of us to do our work therefore with the human effort and the god support we will be able to achieve anything krishna means karshati aakarshati right so krishna aakarshati purushatan aakarshayati krishna gives us all the purushatas that we want that's why he gives here shrihi um victory he gives us victory he gives us glory he gives us all the uh, fortune that we can think of and he helps us lead a um, dharmic life so we have understood different meaning of krishna so sanjaya actually knew that krishna is the para brahmam therefore he is used krishna in the 11th chapter 35th sloka he is used just three times for us to know that krishna is something which we have to understand so it is because of the divine grace of vyasa that he got it and it is because of sanjaya that all of us have it and only because sanjaya translated everything to dhridrashtra he communicated to dhridrashtra the same thing that happened in kurukshetra we have the bhagavad gita today and that is when krishna is worshiped as the geeta acharya krishnam vande jagat gurum right therefore let's recite lord krishna's names and be blessed madhava chuda krishna hare rishikesha keshava govinda vasudeva bhagavan janardana